Okay, I look so ratchet. Oh my goodness. Um, But we are going to review this wig and I'm super excited. We're gonna go from this to like a whole brand new chick. Boss. Okay, but seriously, look at her. Isn't she pretty? She has these cool colorings in her where you can see the different dimensions. I think we're gonna curl her too. She's straight right now, but I think we're gonna curl her. I think we're gonna play with her. Um, and Kingston just went down for a nap, so here we are. <laughs> so if you guys hear um, lawn mowing or leaf blowing or a bunch of annoying sounds, that's my um, lawn people taking care of the lawn. Obviously that's what lawn people do. Um, people that do yard work. <laughs> um, but so let's review the wig real quick and then I'm just gonna fast forward the application process and then we'll talk about her. So. I like this. This is from um, She Is Beauty on Instagram. I'll put her tag right here. And I have been wanting to buy a wig from her for so long, you guys. So long. She didn't have like a website where to where to where you could just go order them and they ship. She custom makes them and then she lists them for sale and you have to buy them. You have to be the first person. And I was the first person on two wigs, this one and my pink one that I'll have a video on soon as well. Um, but this one's is just so good. And she's, I believe she's working on her own line of wigs where you will be able to order them or request customs. I'll post information, like all the details amongst her, amongst her, about her, about her and her hair in the description. So make, make sure you check that out and give her a follow. You can give me a follow as well at that glam girl with a U because we ain't basic up in here. But anyway, so we're gonna play this wig and it's really, really good lace. Look at that. Hello, transparent AF. Real good. Um, it's full lace. And then it has um, a band, which is really, really, really beneficial. And then it also has customization to make it smaller, which is great because I, listen you guys, I used to think I have a, had a huge head when I was like bigger and I guess it was just, I don't know what it was, but my head's a lot smaller than I remember it being. So I'm just gonna take these and make it smaller so it's nice and tight on my head. Um, and then it also has a clip underneath. So we're going to see how it looks on our hair. First we need to get this, we need to get this flat flat. I guess, I guess we'll talk through part of it. I do have a top on PS. Um, maybe I should, I need to work on my setup. You guys, I need to work on my setup, you know, but anyways, we're going to work on our setup. I think we'll have a new YouTube setup here soon. I'm going to set up a station in my room too. Um, cause Kingston needs to start sleeping in his crib. <laughs> that makes me sad. I'm just going to brush my hair out, make sure there's no tangles. I've been really, really loving my hair lately because I'm going days, like look how greasy she is. I'm going days and days without washing it. Um, I know, ratchet. I know, pretty ratchet, but it helps your hair grow if you let your natural oils just kind of do its thing. And if you're gonna have it underneath a wig, might as well let it do its thing, right? So I'm just gonna part this here and part it with the wig part so it's just nice and nice and flows, you know what I mean? Just so it flows, I'm gonna take this hair tie and I'm going to slick her back. We're gonna slick her back, nice and tight. Not too tight, you don't want a major headache, right? Um, and I'm just going to tie it. And then I'm actually gonna make a little knot, uh, not a knot, but a little bunny bun and wrap it around. We're just gonna tuck that bun up instead of do a braid, okay? So um, now let's go ahead. Should we measure her or should we cut her afterwards? I think we're gonna cut her afterwards. So I'm gonna use wig tape on the side and then glue just right here. I just feel like that's been a really great way to put on the wig if I'm not wanting to wear it for a long time. I like to take my wigs off before I go to bed. So I don't need to use the got to be glued all over my whole hairline. It's just doing the most, like it's doing the most. So I just use wig tape on the sides and then glue on the front because the when you use this it does look a little more realistic than the wig tape okay so i'm gonna take one side off of the wig tape and i'm just gonna put it right there okay take your other wig tape 
and I kind of stretch it when I do this just so it makes it easy to peel. Make sure all the hair's back so it doesn't get stuck in the wig tape. And then boom, right there. Okay, and then we're gonna put glue, the, the glue gel, all right here. We're gonna do two layers, two thin layers. So one layer, let it dry completely, and then apply another layer, okay? Literally just putting it on and I'm pushing my real hair back just a little bit with the gel to make it stay down, not get caught up in the wig, you know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? Okay, boom, so we're gonna let that dry. While we let that dry, I'm going to take the wig. You're gonna brush it through. This hair is good, you guys. It's so soft and long and thick. It's hard to get a lace wig that's thick, she thick. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is, what am I gonna do? What am I, I'm gonna put powder on the lace here. So I'm gonna kind of flip it inside out like that. And then I'm gonna grab a face powder. I'm gonna use Lime Life by Alcone's Perfect Color Powder. And I'm just gonna take like a fluffy brush here. I'm actually gonna use our mini brush because it's really packable. Um, this one right here, it's cute. I'm gonna go in with the powder here and I'm just gonna kind of put it along the hairline. See how that changes it slightly? It just makes it really match my hairline, my, my hair. Instead of being transparent and showing my hair through it, it'll look like my skin. So I'm just gonna do that to the whole wig, um, to the whole wig in the front. Okay, so now that you can see a slight difference, it's not too crazy, but it's different. If you have darker complexion than me, then you would obviously use a darker powder. Um, I'm also gonna go, I'm gonna do a little bit of powder right along the part as well. So it looks like scalp underneath. Just a quick little tip, see? Right here where that part is. And if you're gonna change the part, you can do this foundation literally all over the whole lace. It doesn't affect the lace. Okay. Boom. So it just makes it look a little more natural. Now we're gonna continue to let that dry. Once it's completely dry, add another layer. Okay, let's flick this thing back. We're not, we haven't put a second layer on, but I'm gonna put her on first. I think, I don't know. Let's see how we're gonna do this. You want to stretch from the middle, not from the sides, because the lace is delicate, so stretch from here, okay? Okay, and then I'm gonna fold it back there we go. So what I did is I tucked it, I put the band underneath the bun, the little ponytail, and then I took the clip and put it under the band. So it's super secure back there, nice and tight, exactly how you want it. <laughs> get it right, get it tight. Okay, now this is pretty dry. It's, a, it's basically dry. Now we're gonna add another thin layer, okay? Now, if you don't want it on your forehead at all, you can just do this in your hair, but I recommend adding more of it to your forehead than your hair. It'll stay better. Um, it's just how I recommend doing it. But you wanna be careful not to get too far down on your forehead or you'll look like you have a two head. We want a forehead. Cover up the five head, don't cover up the two head. Make it work. <laughs> okay, so now let this completely dry and then we'll get into the laying process. Okay, <laughs> I'm nervous. This player always makes me nervous. We're going to peel some tape. I'm just gonna do the top pieces for now. We'll secure the bottom pieces here in a minute. But you wanna make sure that this is super tight. So I'm actually, I should have done this before, but I'm gonna cut the lace here just to give it some wiggle room just so we can pull it how we want it. I'm not cutting the actual lace where the hair is, just kind of this front part. Okay, so I have the front part, you see it? 
I'm gonna make sure it is tight where I want it. Oh, that's good, y'all. That is good. Okay. So then you can take either, like, I wouldn't use your finger, I would use like something. I'm just gonna kind of use the scissors. You could use um, 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 a comb. I can't find any of my combs right now. Comb would be perfect, but you wanna press down that lace to the glue. You just don't wanna press like with the hair with your finger, cause that'll make the glue, if the glue's wet at all, it'll seep right through the lace and like mess with your hair. You don't want your hair to get gluey and like goopy. You know what I mean? That was a big mistake I used to make a lot when I first started wearing wigs is same with eyelashes, you know, you have to let the glue dry and get tacky. You do not want it to be too wet to where it'll absorb or it'll go right through the lace. Oh my gosh, this lace, y'all. See right here, you can see it kind of went through the lace a little bit. You see that? Kind of went through the lace and it just makes the hair kind of goopy. You don't want that. Okay. I look like Fraggle Rock right now. <laughs> oh no, I forgot about the tape right here. So I need to tuck my ear real quick and we're gonna pull this as tight as I can because you want this to be flat and lay it where the tape is. Same with this side, pull it tight and then press. With tape, you can use your finger um, because it doesn't go through the lace. That's the good part about tape. Okay, let's tuck this ear. We're getting there, my friends, we're getting there. Okay, we're gonna clip this back or put a hair tie in it. Let's grab my hair tie. Oh, that went really smoothly, didn't it? We're not done though, we're not done. Let's see how she's sticking. She's sticking all right. She's sticking all right. Okay. Carol Baskin. Okay, conversation time. Who's watched Tiger King? Y'all, I'm ridiculous with that. Like, even the show, whatever, but the whole TikTok Carol Baskin thing, I can't stop. Like, I can't control myself. It just comes out of my mouth. Like, I cannot freaking stop. I want to, but I can't. I just can't stop. Okay, so we're pressing that down. We are pressing her down. Okay, I don't know if we should secure it now or cut it and then secure it. I kind of want to secure it now. I don't know. This color. Hello, spring. Nice to see you. Glad you made it. Um, okay, I'm going to secure it now. So let me grab a scarf and we're going to wrap it. Okay, her so up. what I've done is I've pulled all my hair back. You can see my little blonde hair right there. Let's tuck her in. Um, I'm gonna take a silk bandana. Really, you could do any type of like tight scarf thing. I'm just gonna use this one because I had it and I wanted to. And I'm gonna kind of just like roll it up, have it like a flat side. And we're going to, actually I should do it this way, huh? I usually just use a headband, but I wanna use this on my beautiful, <laughs> Sake. How do we? I can't do it. <laughs> Hold on, my friends. And this is how you do it. Proceeds and cannot do it. <laughs> Maybe we'll just tie it right here. I think it's because it can't be too high up. Hold on. Let's try it with the hair down. But back. This hair is so long. I'm so obsessed. Obsessed, my friends. Okay. Oh, it keeps unfolding. Maybe I'm just not all there. I feel like I'm preparing for the Carol Baskin Tiger King episode or season two did you hear i heard they're making a movie he wanted to be famous he got his wishes our command quarantine 
You can thank the quarantine for that one. Okay, so basically I'm just, I wrapped it really tight. So it stays really tight to the glue and it stays and like sets where I need it to. So I'm just going to give it like 15 minutes and then we'll be back and hopefully not look so crazy. All right, let's see if we're ready to cut. Are you ready to rumble? She seems pretty secure. She seems pretty secure for now. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's pull the top half back so she don't get in our way. Okay. Let's do this. Got my handy dandy lash scissors. And you want to kind of cut jagged instead of a straight line so it doesn't look like a Halloween costume. And we'll probably have to glue a little bit down there. Yeah, we will. That's okay. Okay. I look good. Ow, the glue definitely stuck there. Okay, we haven't trimmed out our ears yet. We're gonna we're gonna wait there. Okay? So Didn't stay as much as I wanted it to right here. It's okay. I wish I had my freeze blasting spray. That's my favorite for this. But I'm all out and you know, quarantine life got us working with what we have. All right, so let's continue cutting. Ow. Felt ripped off my skin. <laughs> Whoops. All right. I'm not digging. Look, it didn't stick very well right there. Maybe I didn't put glue far enough far enough down. I don't know, but I'm not digging that part right there. And yes, you can see the lace right now. Once we put um, makeup on, it blends really well. Okay. Okay. So we need to cut out our ears. Cut out our ear section because you'll get a headache real quick if you don't. I'm going to do it. You want some hair in front. You kind of just want to go up where your ear needs to go. Cut right there where your ear goes. Don't cut your ear. That would be tragic. Okay, and then there. Let your ear breathe. Let your ear breathe. There we go. Now this one, just gotta find out where the ear naturally goes up and cut it. So like right there. Ah, oh, there we go. Let those big old ears breathe. Okay, so we need to add a little bit more glue and then I think we'll wrap it again and let it sit. So we're just gonna kind of let this get a little tacky first. I think that's the problem. I didn't have glue far enough down on my forehead. Oh, oh. Yeah, but you want it to be tacky before you put the lace down. Okay, let's go blow dry it so it dries a little bit quicker. 
Okay, so the wig is on. She's secure. She's on there. It's going to blend a lot better when we put on our makeup, which I'm going to do on Facebook Live. If you don't follow me on there, the link will be down below. If you want to rewatch the live and follow me on there, because we do lots of makeup lives on there. Um, and then I'm also, I think I'm going to curl my hair. It's straight right now, but I think I want a big fluffy curls. So this chunky color is so pretty. I'm excited. So we're going to go finish getting ready on the other platforms. Feel free to follow me on there. And we'll be back with a finished look and my final thoughts on this wig. Okay, guys. So I did my hair and I obviously did my makeup on my Facebook. Um, and I'm loving this wig. I'm loving the color. I'm loving the vibe. I'm loving the dimensions in it. Uh, it did curl really well. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. It was straight. It had been straightened. So obviously it's not going to curl as good as it would if I like got it wet and blow dried it. Um, so it did have a, an already straightened pattern in it. So the curl did not stay as good as I wanted it to, but that's because it was straight, not because of the quality of the hair. Cause it originally curled really well. And then it just kind of like dropped. Um, I will do another like hair tutorial on this wig to see if it does hold curl better because it's pretty flat, <laughs> but it's okay. It looks really, really pretty. Let me show it to you from the back here. So you can see it has the color pattern and the colors are really pretty. Um, another thing I will say about this wig is she sheds. She's a shedder. Um, I don't know if that, sorry. I don't know if that's just because, like I said, it's like the first, you know, the first shed. Most wigs have a first shed and then they stop shedding. Um, hoping that's what it is. She's long. She's real long. Let me show you. She's like to my butt crack. She, let me show you. Literally, she's so long. Really pretty though. Um, human hair. Great quality. It's really soft. It, it It's not tangly, but it just sheds a bit. Uh, hoping, like I said, it's the first one. We'll see. But I just feel like I have hair all over me. I do have hair all over me. But yeah, so I ain't mad at it. That's my first impressions on this hair. Like I said, I'll have all the info in the description for you guys on like her Instagram and the quality of the hair or the like type of hair that she used. I messaged her and asked her for the details on it. And yeah, I ain't mad at it. And this look was fun. Obviously it's inspired by the wig. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, if you enjoy these type of videos, if you want me to review more wigs or more brands or more stylists, send me their info. You can either email it to me, my info will be down below, or you can DM it to me on Instagram, and I'd love to do more of these. Comment down below if you're interested in more wig videos. If these interest you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel, because I do want to do more. I love wigs, I love fashion, all that fun stuff. So I want to do more of it. So thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!